welcome to our demo of air and pressure for the sixth graders in Tacoma Public Schools. Now, it is a good idea to read lesson four in your Carolina textbook under weather and climate if you haven't done that already before you watch this video. So hopefully you have the weather kits that we sent out. And so this first week, we're going to talk about how air pressure is the force, which is what one object does to another one, exerted by the weight of air. Weight of air. So the weight of air causes pressure. If air has weight, why can't I feel it? Do you feel it like pushing down on you? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, so you can't feel it, Kayla, because your body is made out of liquid, which is almost incompressible. Also, your body is just used to it. You've always had air pressure pushing on you, but when you go up in an airplane and the pressure changes and your ears pop, air does have pressure and weight caused by gravity. Okay, so you can measure the pressure of air at home with a barometer. You can watch our videos, other videos, for instructions on how to build one of these at home. We've included everything that you need in your kit, except for some kind of glass jar or cup. Uh, just a drinking glass will work fine, okay? So barometers measure changes in air pressure. The date today is November 11th, 2020, and some people are saying that there's going to be a big winter storm this weekend. Definitely in the mountains and maybe even lower. So I'm watching my barometer to see if there's a pressure drop and I know when to, you know, batten down the hatches and get ready for the rain. Okay, so how do I know that there's air pressure? Well, good news, I have a very dangerous demo to show you. Do not try this at home. Okay, it takes a lot of work to get it just right. It can end very badly and you have to have fire suppression systems and all kinds of things in place. Okay. <sighs> Seriously though, do not try this at home. Okay, this is a glass mason jar. You might be able to see some of the evidence of past attempts that have gone very wrong on the edges of this mason jar. Okay, so now we also have a balloon filled with water. Okay, so Kayla, on the inside of the jar right now is the air pressure is the same as the outside, right? Put your hand in there, see how it feels. Okay, it feels the same, right? Inside and outside. Okay, so now we have that balloon filled with water and you're gonna wet the rim of the jar, Kayla, to create a seal, an air pressure seal. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is good, this is good. So. Kayla, I want you to use the force of your mind to put the balloon into the jar. On your mark, get set, go. No, okay, try your hand, Kayla, try your hand. I don't, I don't think that you're a Jedi. Come on, like you mean it. I really hope this explodes all over us right now. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay. Okay, you know what? I have a better idea. Let's use science, okay? Okay, we're gonna try some science. Okay, so. Okay, I'll do the fire, you do the balloon. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to get the air pressure inside this jar to lower so that the atmospheric pressure outside here will push and pull, force the balloon into the jar. All right, take one. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> okay. All right. So hopefully now by putting my hand over this, we will extinguish the flame inside the jar. Okay. We did it. Gosh, only two tries. Still a lot of smoke. <laughs> okay. So the thing is, uh, we need to get this to go out. <laughs> Just pour some water. There we go. Okay. 
So now, hmm, thing is, I use this jar, okay? And I need to get the balloon out of the jar. <laughs> How do I get it back out? So what happened is, I reduced the air pressure inside the jar, and it got forced in, but now, <laughs> The air pressure, as soon as it broke that seal, equalized, and it's the same. So now I can't get it out. However, Kayla, I'm gonna move over here, and Kayla's gonna show you, get your face right in there, Kayla, how she's gonna science it out of the jar. She has to raise the air pressure inside the jar by blowing with the straw and science. That, my friends, is how we know that air pressure exists. See you next week. Share your weather data and one student will randomly be drawn to win a Nintendo Switch plus Labo kit. 10 students will win $100. You can share your data by sending us an email, calling us on the phone, or if we prefer, talk to us on Flipgrid. Join code WeatherStation. See you next week. Thank you.